What up, gang? Carolina Jackpot Time coming at you on Saturday morning. I hope you guys and gals are doing well today. I am doing great. Uh, just headed out to do a little bit of work today before uh, it's time for some college football. About noon, we'll be kicking off. Um, well, our game will be kicking off. I guess the games will be kicking off. Our game today is at like 1245, I think. Some weird uh, made-up time that uh, you get when you're on an SEC network schedule type of game. We'll be going live here around 1230 over on the Carolina Jackpot channel live stream fan reaction. It's going to be a good one. Uh, South Carolina is currently a one-point favorite against Oklahoma. Lions moved all the way from being a three-point underdog at the beginning of the week to being a one-point favorite now. I don't really know where all that movement's coming from. I know a lot of money's come in on the Gamecocks, which I don't really like. Um, I think South Carolina plays better when they're in the underdog role. Uh, but basically, the, the game is basically a toss-up at this point. Like, if you take Oklahoma on the money line as of this morning, even though they were an underdog, it was still at minus 102. Okay? So that's, that's kind of weird to see. Um, uh, yeah, but anyway, um, I, I don't know. I, the Oklahoma wide receiver Deion Burks, they were trying to get him ready to play. I'm having a feeling this guy's not going to play today because uh, maybe that's part of the line movement. I was reading on the 24-7 Sooner Sports thing yesterday. He's trying to be ready to come back and play this game, but they don't know if he's going to be able to. Now, our luck, he'll come back and have about 150 yards receiving <laughs> that's just how we do um, but this should be a fun one today Norman Oklahoma uh, I'm looking forward to it South Carolina versus uh, Oklahoma uh, this, this is pretty much this is a must win situation and this is a very winnable game um, we just go out and execute something on offense I think South Carolina will win because I think South Carolina's defense will show up today defense travels and Leading the nation, well, not leading the nation in sacks. We got 19 sacks on the year, which is really good. We've also given up 25, which is horrendous. Um, offensive line coach need to go yesterday. That whole staff is just awful. They're just shit. I've told you guys that for three years. They're awful. Uh, there, there's no excuse for it. There's no other reason. We've got big bodies on that line. They've got highly recruited players that they have brought in on that offensive line. They still cannot get the job done. I saw where Josiah Thompson, our left tackle out of Dillon, South Kakalaki, high four-star, low five-star, wherever you want to look at him, uh, was voted on and, and named the true freshman offensive lineman of the week. They have such an award. True freshman offensive lineman of the week. Here's the thing. How many teams, bro, out there are actually using true frosh on the offensive line? I can't imagine that there's very many. I mean, he probably beat out like eight guys for that award. And and three of them probably played for UTEP. I mean, <laughs> what? You know, whatever. But, I mean, that's good, I guess. Um, and that, yeah, um, whatever. We really got to get better. That's that is the, the the worst unit on our team, in my opinion, by far. And until it improves, you're not going to see significant improvements in the win loss column, nor uh, just on the field in general. I saw a meme on Twitter today. Mike Norvell. He's one at six now. People are laughing at that. I don't know if you watched their game last night. But it, was, it was painful to watch, and. Once again, I'm an idiot. I've said for years, I was ever since 2020, Florida State lost me some money uh, on a game, and I said, you know, I'm never laying points with them again, ever. And I keep doing it time after time, and sometimes they've done me okay, but sometimes they've done me dirty. Last night, I had them as part of a three-leg parlay, and they, they were going to have to win for this parlay to cash. For them to win, Oklahoma State to cover, and Fresno State to cover the two and a half point line. 
Fresno State covered the two and a half. They won by three. Oklahoma State covered against BYU. They lost, I think, by, I don't know, just by three points or something. And Florida State loses, of course, to Duke. I mean, what, I, you, you had a 20, like 20, how was it, 22, 29 game winning streak against Duke. You never lost to them. You did last night, though. Jeez, Christ. Throw a pick six. Quarterback, second string quarterback gets benched. <clears throat> Who's in there starting because DJ Uyangale and had surgery. They said somebody said he was out for the year, and then last night they were just saying he's out for this game. So is he out for the year or is he out for the game? I don't really know. But this second team quarterback, he had looked a little better. I mean, he looked better against Clemson than probably what DJ would have looked. I and mean, they still didn't win or didn't even come close, but damn, last night he looked like homemade shit against Duke. So Mike Norvell is one and six, but anyway, a Clemson fan had retweeted this and had made some kind of snide remark about the Portal King and, and Mike Norvell's you know inability to put together a good transfer portal roster this year. Yeah, Mike Norvell probably uses the transfer portal a little bit too much. And this past off season, they had a poor poor portal class come in. And that's on him and it's on his talent evaluators. Now, the year before, they had a really good portal class come in. You see what happened. Well, I mean, how many of us would, would take a, an 11-1? They would have been 12-0. They would have they would have been in the college football playoff last year if Jordan Travis got hurt. We all know that. They would have been. How many of us would take that with a chance to compete for a national championship if we knew that, hey, next year it's going to be a turd burger. I think we'd all opt for that. We'd all opt for that and then have a turd burger year as opposed to just really you know, being average as shit both years. Well, the Clemson fans are, they're loving this right now, you know, especially the ones who are, are big-time Dabo supporters and his Refusal to use the transfer portal, you know, you know, we take high school transfer here, yada, 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 NIL is the devil, yada, 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 uh, these kids are already getting a free education, yada, 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 that type mentality, well, they're just loving it right now because they're steamrolling all these piles of shit on their schedule, and Florida State is uh, in a dumpster fire, they're, they're terrible, they're a tire fire. Look, just because Florida State is a tire fire this year does not mean that the transfer portal bad. Transfer portal not good. Don't use transfer portal. It is meant to be used to supplement weak spots on your roster or to bolster your roster where you might need some depth where you don't have quality depth at. It's not meant to build an entire team out of. But I'd still take a 12-0 season if it meant doing it with all portal players. But that's really, that was an outlier, and that's really not what it's meant for. But Dabo's just straight-up refusal to use it, even though he's still winning right now at a seemingly high level. Everybody's talking about how they're steamrolling everybody and this and that. And look, I'm not discounting everything that they've done. I've told you before that I think that them going out and hiring Matt Luke to coach the offensive line was an excellent move. You you know that I've said it. I've said that on videos multiple times. But you also have to take into account who they've been playing. They've been playing horrendous teams. Have they played anybody with a winning record? No. Yeah, and I know they've been steamrolling all of them. And these are under teams. Well, they go out and play other teams, and they don't get steamrolled by them, only by clubs. And yeah, because they're playing other turd burgers. They're playing other turd burgers. Congratulations on being the class of a, a, a conference full of turd burgers. You haven't done anything to impress me so far, other than score a lot of points now. I mean, your offense looking better has that's that's good and i've given you some credit for that and i've talked about why i think it is and i've given them credit for that too but that's as far as it goes that's as far as it's going to go 
Go on the road and beat Virginia Tech. They've been looking a lot better. They were pretty impressive on Thursday night. Go on the road and do that. I'll be a little bit impressed with that. Go on the road and beat Pitt, who's un or, or undefeated right now. I'll be a little bit impressed with that. Those two, I was not looking to in the offseason as possible challenges to Clemson, but I kind of am now. You know, I was off the uh, Virginia Tech uh, bus, especially after losing to Vanderbilt, and then, you know, but ever since then, they've kind of slowly crept back in, right? They, they, they had that loss to Rutgers at home. That really wasn't a great loss for them. But then, you know, you had the close call against Miami, which, I mean, I know it was a loss, but you can see a lot of improved play there from them. Um, and then they they go out, they just totally destroyed Stanford, another ACC turd burger, and they uh, kind of destroyed Boston College a little bit the other night, another ACC turd burger. Yeah, yeah, that's she very much for turd burger. Uh, but anyway, Clemson is just, you, you know what Clemson is? You know what Clemson is? It's just grumpy old white dudes. Clemson is the poster uh, boy moniker for just grumpy old white dudes. They get paid enough already. What up? We're like, there, man. Jay, we shouldn't be paying them nothing already. Giving them free books. You go take class and everything else. I don't know why we're paying them. You're paying these players. Oh, well, I don't know why these old guys, he, he can play for this team this year and then he can decide he won't go over here, play for this and not there next year. But little, 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 it's that just, it's grumpy old white dude. That's what Clemson is. And eventually you're going to get steamrolled by a team who's using transfer portal players in the playoffs. That's what's going to happen if you even make it there. Rant over about them. So don't shit bag on Mike Norvell because he's using the portal. He's just not using it wisely. He's not using it really the way that it was intended to be used. But just because he uses it doesn't mean he's stupid. He just has some work to do with it. I honestly, and I don't give him a lot of credit, but I really, I like the way that Beamer and their staff, they actually use the portal a little bit better than most. They use it to supplement weak spots on the roster. They're not using it to build an entire team out of. They got a redshirt freshman quarterback who struggled at times and looked like a million dollars at times. And they're going to ride with him. They're not ever, there's people out there saying, saying that they ought to bench him and start Robbie Ashford for the rest of the year so Lenoris can sit and learn. Well, sit and learn? Well, sit and learn what? What's he going to learn from Robbie Ashford? Really? Sit and learn from who? You know, I, I, the, the, the best teacher is repetition. The best teacher is repetition. He's made some boneheaded decisions in terms of, well, just well, he's just turned the damn ball over too much. We'll just put it, leave it at that. Those are boneheaded decisions. He's made a couple of boneheaded throws, done some stuff that was dumb. He doesn't have a good offensive coordinator. I think that that's been well established that that guy is a bag full of shit. He needs to go. But we're stuck with him for right now. Well, I guess you don't have to be. But they've used the portal in a way to kind of bolster things up. They don't use it to build the entire team out of. So I, I will give them credit for that. What else, what else, what else can we talk about? Who else plays today that I'm looking forward to? This Tennessee-Alabama matchup is going to be a good one. That will be on. I'll be starting probably when our game is probably in the fourth quarter. So I won't get to see it all in its entirety. Well, I always have a couple of the dual televisions and the tablet and all that stuff going. So I'll be watching some other games as well. Um, but that said, that's going to be a good one I'm – really interested to see what happens in that game. I want to see if Army and Navy can continue winning this week. I'm uh, laying points with Army. I'm a little bit concerned about the Navy. I don't know if they might cover their spread today against Charlotte. I know Charlotte sucks, but they were off last week, and I, I just have a feeling that you know they might be ready for the triple option. I don't think they're going to win, but they've just been kind of a, a, a weird case team, too, this year. We'll see what happens between Florida and Kentucky today. And, of course, Texas and Georgia. That's going to be the big one. Um, Primetime game. 
hey, uh, all the marbles are out there on the table, ain't it? Uh, if Georgia drops this one, uh, they don't have any more, um, don't have any more margin for error to still make it in the playoffs. Meaning they can't lose another game. And you've got a couple of more losable games on that schedule. So if you drop this one, which you're likely to do, you don't have um, any place to slip up at left. You got to win out. Those are those are all ones I'm really looking forward to and I'm excited about. Um, want to talk to you about something else real quick. Uh, Little Debbie has got their Christmas cakes out now. They've been in the stores for a week or so. There's like five or six different varieties of uh, Little Debbie Christmas cakes. And I'm thinking about, you know, there, there, there's one that I've pretty much exclusively uh, gone to every year and I don't really mess with any of the other ones. But I want to try all of them. I was wondering with you guys, if I did it over on the Rock Belly X4 channel and over on TikTok, you got on stop, because I like putting stuff on TikTok. You get some engagement from that. Unfortunately, you know, you don't, I have one TikTok that has like 235,000 views, which is way more views than my number one YouTube video I've ever gotten. Which is crazy, which I don't get paid nothing from them because I don't have enough followers. I'm trying to get more followers. I gotta get up to 10,000 to be able to monetize. And right now I'm like 2,300 or something. So I'm just wondering what you guys watch if I do a kind of a rank your cake video with little Debbie Christmas cakes. I'm gonna rank them one through six or however many there are. I'm gonna try each and every one of them. Um, wanted to do it with the fall cakes too, but those really aren't available that much in the stores anymore. They're, little Debbie's kind of flushing through those as they sell out. They're not replenishing those anymore. And some of those, the um, it's a it's a, a pumpkin roll one. It's like a little. It's filled with the cream cheese, and it's like a, a pumpkin spice type uh, cake. Um, kind of like a Swiss roll, but it's just big, or it's not coated with that. Anyway, it's good. That's a really underrated snack cake, in my opinion. But if I do a, a, a bless your rank type thing with the Christmas Little Debbie cakes, I was wondering if you all would watch, and if you would, you know, in your comment, just leave a little tree emoji leave a little tree there's one on there you can find different kinds of trees like you can, one's an oak tree i think and one may be uh like a birch tree or something there's a christmas tree in there though so hit it with that little christmas tree emoji if you would like to see me and don't be leaving any ugly comments to me about my fat belly and stuff like that about me eating all those debbie cakes at once look people do all kind of crazy stuff like that when it comes to testing food and side note I might take like a couple of bites of eat. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat the whole cake. But if I ate six of them or five of them, however many different varieties they are, I mean, it's not like I'm gonna die from that or gain 10 pounds from it. And I'm also not gonna eat the entire box of each variety all at once. We'll save them around the house here and eat on it over a several week period of time. So just just head off those, those ugly insulting comments at the pass because I know sometimes people like to be leaving stuff like that, trying to get a rise up out of me. And sometimes you do and sometimes you don't. But I'm really wanting to rank these uh, these cakes. Rank the cakes. I want to see what uh, what's popping off. Anyway, I'm about to uh, get to my destination today. I've got to go work in two little stores. You know, um, I was trying to get them all done yesterday so I could just totally be off today, be free of that. I have a kid who helps me out on Sundays. He goes and straightens up a couple of my stores, but I was able to get about two less done yesterday than what I would have liked to have been able to do simply because we're still recovering from the storm as a potato chip people too. You know, storm recovery is not just picking up trees and limbs and fixing broken power poles and stuff like that it's also working in retail and working in these stores out here and going out and filling up these stores that uh not necessarily got blown out during the uh the mess but you really weren't able to take care of them for a week or so and you maybe you took care of them before the storm and then they opened back up and people came in and bought some items and 
kind of got them in a mess and you hadn't been able to get over there well they're i'm still just finishing catching all that up and i got two more that i've got to go hit this morning and then i will be done it can take too long but i still i, I wish i didn't have to do it i like getting i like to sleep one day out of the week you know what i mean but anyway that's where we stand on that so Let's now see you guys later on. I hope to see you on the live stream today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I appreciate you. Um, here goes a truck with some damn Clemson flags on it. I don't know if you saw that pass. Um, yeah. Anyway. Good luck to them today. Not. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Appreciate you. Peace. I'm out, I'm out of here. Go Gamecocks. Ah, woo. I hope your wagon tips over again, by the way.